Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to the Atlantis 1957 Cadillac Eldorado Brome. I know we've been pumping out these videos left and right, but you know, it's... I went a long span without doing much on this car, and now that it's coming together, getting really excited to see the finished product. So we're, we're going hard at it. Now, the next thing we're going to do, we did our wash and everywhere. The next step, oh, we also did our tires. We got to touch those up, but we're going to do that in a different video. We'll probably do like a tire touch up and maybe put the caps on. But in this video, this is a backup light, the inner ones, and then the outer ones are tail lights. And then in here, part of the bumper, that's a red reflective lens or tail light as well. And it's gonna be a little bit tough to see. Oh, there's that flash that I was looking at earlier. It's amazing when you when you do your lighting different, how you can see stuff. So let's just kind of shake that off a little bit. You can't be having that stuff anymore. You got a little bit right here. Like that. And we still need to do our our wash is pretty much dry, but I'm going to let it sit a little bit more and then we'll have to get and wipe down where we overdone it. But yeah, look at the grill. Grill turned out nice. So did them wheels. It's pretty shiny and I got the light bright. But yeah, let's keep the stand while we're at it. I'm good at that. Well, let's get all these brushes we're not going to use. We're going to use this bar brush here. And I was just want to showcase that I got some of these finer artist brushes so I don't have to use a toothpick all the time. Put them over there. Because the majority of this car, I, a lot of it I painted in the interior with a toothpick. We got our stoplight red going. And we are going to paint the taillights. I didn't get any in my finger, but I think I'm going to put this back on my little helper. I'm going to move this over this way, get this on there like that so it's nice and steady. Can we see? You guys see? Probably better. I do also have an overhead um, It's going to sit here. Or no, actually I went with the boom one. It's going to clip on the edge of this table here and it'll be kind of like my microphone for the looks a lot like my microphone holder, actually. But enough about that. We need to get back to the brome. I'm thinking I'm going to have to take the old glasses off, and you're probably going to see my head in here quite a bit, because my eyesight's not the greatest. But I don't really want to touch my... my grill after that turned out so well. Alright. Yeah, I can, I can dig that. We'll get it from this angle, too. Maybe just dip it in. Maybe not that much. It's kind of jelly. I don't think for the taillights we're going to have to, yeah, I don't think we're going to have to, I didn't, what am I doing? Is it going to settle? I think so. There, that's wonderful. Kind of going to apply it like that clear. Uh, like that. Just turn the, I'm meaning to turn the whole tape so I don't pick it up and. Oh, I'm 
actually happy with that. I'm just gonna... There we go. Let that settle in like that. I kind of wish I would have started with the side here because now I'm gonna probably mess that part up. Wow, I'm really glad. I'm happy with the way that landed. Laid down, I mean. So why don't in this video we just paint that part there? We're just going to let that sit. Let's get the clear... Um, my uh, window maker. Put that there. This window maker here. And we are going to hit our over our headlights and we'll do the backup lights and we're just going to let that dry call it a video and then the, once that's dry because this is looking too too nice for me to tip it up to try to do these parts of the tail lights and have it just run down kind of like the grill ended up doing I was a little disappointed in that but it turned out all right got a little cleanup to do but not the end of the world as we found out with the uh top coat on our paint job for the body. It's been a while since I used this. How fast does this run out? Oh. Okay, you gotta be very careful with it. Or you just shoot it all over the place. So um best best way to do this, I don't know. Hold that down like that. Maybe get a little bubble going. Like that, maybe. Yes, like that. We're just basically making a lens, and that'll be our little deal there. And I wanted to try to get the headlights to, oh boy, I hope that dries like that, both the red and the, here, let me get my brush here, my red kind of, I did not get that portion very well. Another hand to steady stuff. Might need a little more. There we go, just ever so slightly. So, so fine, it's just, it's not always easy to see. Depends on the angle you look at it, you know? Go back to this way. Okay, now I see it. Both hands is a steady guide. Like that. Just like that. I'm happy with that. So I better get the thinner on that brush. Take care of that before I ruin my brush. That won't be good. You bet, I'm cleaning the brush on camera. Well, off camera, but while I'm recording.
new. Yeah, I like them fine brushes. That's nice. So I'm going to get that out of the way before I end up. I should put it there so I don't get my garbage can all nasty. Basically, just hold the paper and plastic. So, yeah, I'm happy with the clear lens for the tail light, backup lights. I'm happy with the brake light. Let's, uh,. Go ahead and there it is. Let's get them headlights. chrome behind it but this should give it that clear lens effect I don't know if you can see it the two differences I can definitely see it from where I'm looking but you know, let's see what you can see yeah you can tell it's got kind of a lens effect on it and we're going to go this way with this one. Oh, that bubble in there. Do the front bumper, uh, the blinkers, the front bumper yet? I'll hold down on the. Let's get this over here and I'll hold the bumper in place. Chicken out and went thin there. But that looks better. So there we have it. Better get the lid back on that. Oop, we got a little fuzz from our towel on there. We want that to block our nozzle for the next time some air out of it there we go and yeah that's all right I think we're gonna call that a video we got our backup lights lenses done we got our front blinker light lenses got our headlight lenses and we got some taillight lenses another angle for you oh. like that I'd like to thank you guys for watching and We'll see you next time.